Hey, what's up, Tech Heart Rockstars? A different kind of video today. We're outside in a small town in Oregon, and we're at the public library. Now, this isn't one of those 1A auditing videos where we're going to go in the library and videotape because we can, but I wanted to show you guys um, how libraries have changed over the years. It's not the same place where I used to come and get my Calvin and Hobbes comics, although you still probably could. Let's go inside. Be sure to keep quiet. other parts of the library they now have a library of things and things are physical items that you can check out at the front a few that are cool to our community you can get a kilowatt or different lenses for your cameras <clears throat> you can literally check out a Wi-Fi hotspot. They give it to you for three weeks at a time. And it has good rates or good internet speeds. So that's a thing you can check out. What we're here for today though is an iFixit Pro toolkit. So let's check that out. All right, so check that out. Just as quick as we walked in there, we have a full uh, iFixit toolkit. We'll get that home and I'll show you guys with a little better audio and tell you more about the library. Bye. Another thing that I know they have is they have a complete um, maker space here. You can come on by and talk to the director and um, you can get access to 3D printing right on site at the local library. Our local library is pretty small, so I'm sure if you're in a larger city, you have things like this too. Right back through, through that door and then another hallway is the uh, 3D maker space. Sorry about all the cars. So let's get home and see this uh, iFixit toolkit, which I'm sure most of you already know what it is. All right, all right. we're back home, let's dig in. It tells you about what you got. The iFixit Pro Tech toolkit. I think that's supposed to be taped on the uh, top like that. So we'll fix it for them. And here's everything that's inside of there, but it's just a regular Pro Toolkit, Phillips flathead, different Torx uh, screwdrivers, hex tripoint nut drivers, and all the good stuff from spudgers to squarers to, well, let's look. You know, and they don't skimp out either. They give you everything that you would have got if you bought the iFixit kit. Heck, even the stickers, but we'll leave those in there for the next people. And yeah, this is like the good iFixit toolkit. I don't know the exact pricing, but you know, this isn't the cheap $30 one. This is like the full on uh, pro iFixit toolkit. Various, it gives you the anti-electricity thing over here, various different spudgers and scrapers. Let's see, is there a cutter in here? Well, so I have an iMac, a 17 that I was gonna work on to take the screen off they make that special rolling cutter, but there is a cutter. So I have everything in this uh, kit right here to perform that work on a 2017 iMac that I want, but it's not the specialized uh, wheel cutting one that is spaced out just perfect, but it has everything inside of here that you would need to do that job for sure. So I just wanted to show that, man. The, uh, the new Internet of Things at your local public library is a really cool joint. From a Wi-Fi hotspot to an iFixit Pro toolkit to lenses for your cameras and more. I think it's worthy to go check out your local library. She told me a couple other things, too. So they have Libby subscriptions that you can get for free. And they just started doing magazines. And she said they have Linux magazines and Macworld and, and blah, blah, blah. But Libby is a... Like it's a library for books and magazines that you can get on your mobile devices. And uh, that's there too. 
This particular library was the St. Helens Public Library, but I'm sure downtown Portland has the same types of items. Go in there and see if you have an Internet of Things at your public library, because mine is a lot cooler than when I was a youngster. Even has 3D printing. So all right, tech art out.